today in our Hong Kong Marine Invertebrate series, I would like to show you the amazing gathering of ragged sea hares in Hong Kong during their spring mating season. The ragged sea hare is also known as the hairy sea hare. Its scientific name is Bursatella lechi. They are super cute and can be up to around 12 centimeters long. Their bodies are covered with papillae, the freely outgrowths that look like spikes growing all over its body. Though it looks spiky and dangerous, the papillae outgrowths are actually not spiky at all, and are in fact like soft tissue paper. I guess that spiky look will deter predators from attempting to go close to it. The body of the ragged sea hare is greenish yellow in color and has black spots all over its body. And among the black spots, there are some bright, almost fluorescent blue spots as well which makes them look super unique and pretty. They also have short stubby tails. How can you not fall in love with these little creatures? Like other sea hares, it has two pairs of big oral tentacles, rabbit ears, and small rhinophore on its head. These may not be easy to see because of the freely papillae all over their bodies. Also, like other sea hares, the ragged sea hares have parapodia, or wings, on both sides of their bodies. However, in the case of the ragged sea hare, their parapodia are very reduced in size and fused to their bodies, so it is not used for swimming like other sea hares. To see and learn more about the mythology, of sea hares, please see our sea hare video, the link is in the description below. These beautiful ragged sea hares are usually found in shallow waters with a sandy bottom of about 1 to 7 meters deep. Like shown in this video, we filmed these ragged sea hares in the shallow waters of Lai Chi Chong in Hong Kong. We were just snorkeling off the pier when we noticed one of these beautiful creatures on the seafloor. And we saw another one, and another one, and another one. And we suddenly realized the whole seafloor was full of them. What an amazing sight and experience. I remember my dad telling me many years ago, during a certain time of the year, he thought it was summer, but it is actually spring. He saw sea hares all over the seafloor in Hong Kong. I didn't really understand what he meant, but now I know. And I'm so thankful to be able to see this spectacle in the sea. The hundreds or maybe thousands of ragged sea hares have all come out together during this time because it is springtime and it is their mating season. Like most other sea slugs and their relatives, the ragged sea hares are cross-fertilizing hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodite means the same animal possess both the male and female reproductive systems, and when two of them mate, they will both get fertilized and will both be able to lay eggs. When the ragged sea hares lay eggs, they are laid in a continuous, clear, gelatinous string, like a piece of clear spaghetti. Suspended within the clear spaghetti are many, many tiny eggs that will eventually become baby ragged sea hares. Another fun fact about the ragged sea hare is that it can discharge purple ink when disturbed. The ink is used to ward off predators but have no effect on humans. Like other sea hares, the ragged sea hares eat algae. They ingest large amounts of sand and filter out, and consume the algae within the sand particles. 
in this way they are kind of like earthworms in which they perform bioturbation of the seabed which helps create a healthy seabed environment for many other animals. Hope you enjoy our video of these beautiful super cute creatures. We had the best time seeing this large gathering of ragged sea hares at Lai Chi Chong in Hong Kong. One question I have is, we almost never see them during other times of the year. I wonder where they all go after spring. If any of you know, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. The information in this video is found by us through online research and books. If there is anything wrong with the information, please let us know in the comments below. As we always say, it is great fun and educational to experience nature in real life. However, I would like to remind you that when you are interacting with marine animals, it is best to observe, interact with, and photograph them, and not catch or kill them. And remember to be safe. The purpose of our Hong Kong Marine Invertebrate series is to introduce to you the amazing varieties of invertebrates living in the oceans of Hong Kong, many of which may not be well known to people, unless they are marine enthusiasts. Our hope is to help more people see the abundance of marine life in Hong Kong waters and raise awareness for the protection and maintenance of our beautiful and life-giving marine environment. Finally, one of the most wonderful things about Hong Kong is its rich biodiversity. Even though there are over 8 million people living in just 1,000 square kilometers, we have managed to keep a rich biodiversity both on the land and in the sea. So if you get a chance, we highly encourage you to go out and see Hong Kong's nature also. Thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoy our videos, please leave us a comment or subscribe. Bye.